Hi guys, this is William here, the BD executive from Top Biotech. It's very exciting to share with you that the release of our next generation OBD2 tracker TLD2 series. So comparing to the first generation, we added some very exceptional features uh, based on our market experience and in-depth discussion with many users. We added an inbuilt buzzer, a 6 acid accelerometer and a chip that can work on all bands globally. So this video I'm going to uh, introduce its features, uh, the use cases and I'm going to walk you through the installation. Firstly, the model runs on 4G CATAM1 with global bands supported, so it's easier for your international operations. You only need one model to sell to anywhere of the world. It also have a 2G fallback for places that don't have CATAM1 network. Secondly, it reports real-time location and buffer locations if it ever gets stuck because of network or other issues. It also has the start and stop moving alerts to be sent to the platform. We now have the model with Canvas reading and the one without. With Canvas reading, it can read data from the car computer such as the VIN number, the odometer, the DTC code, the fuel level, RPM, coolant temperature, and so much more. One renovation for this generation, uh, as mentioned earlier, is the 6 axis uh, accelerometer. It helps to get a really high accuracy of driving behavior detection. Also, there's an inbuilt buzzer to alert the driver uh, when harsh driving events occur. So this will reduce your vehicle maintenance cost and reduce the accident rate. Reckless driving can cause the increase in consumption of fuel, the brake pad, the tires or the downtime of the vehicle and the insurance bill as well. So if accidents happen, not mentioning a public security hazard, so with a high accuracy in driving behavior detection is essential. The next feature is the BLE. So the BLE of this model is upgraded to BLE 5.0 so for a wider range of connectivity for our BLE sensors such as the temperature and humidity sensor, the door and temperature sensor and the BLE relay. It's designed to be used on fleet management and vehicle tracking for cars, for vans, trucks. It can track the vehicle and provide canvas data for you to learn more about the detailed status of the vehicles and the driving behavior data uh, for driver's training and it can work with BLE sensors as mentioned. And just for your information, we also supplied uh, the J1939 cable, the converter, if your truck doesn't have the OBD2 port. As well as the extension OBD2 cable. And we also have the Y cable. We want to hide the tracker behind the OBD2 port. Now let's walk through the installation. The first thing you need to do is to insert a SIM and connect to power. You can do it with the OBD2 power cable or simply plug it into your car. Now you see the LED indicators are on. They stand for the satellite signal, the network signal and the CAN bus signal. When they are flashing, it means they are searching for the signal. And when they are solid on, it means it has already gained the signal. After that, connect the device to the computer with a regular micro USB cable. So then we can configure it the, on the config program and set your APM, IP and port to bring it online on your platform. After that, just simply plug it into your car and it will come online and start working. 